Today we are looking at a deadly fungus outbreak in Washington state. Break this down mm, for us. Yeah, this is a particular, a, a newer type of fungus called Candida auris, uh, first reported out of Japan in 2009. By the way, it's Candida, not Candida. A lot of people mispronounce that, but you know, that class of yeast, of fungus, well known, common, this particular kind, Oris, you know, different strain, different family of yeast, much more likely to affect patients who are hospitalized and with compromised immune systems, also sick with other conditions that put them at greater risk. But it has a very high mortality rate, and we don't have a lot of antifungal medications in the pipeline or that work against this newer, more resistant, more deadly type of fungus. So I think we have to remember when you talk about microbiology, infectious diseases, there's viruses. Mm -hmm. We've certainly heard a lot about that in the last four years. There's bacteria, there's parasites, and there's fungus. And if this spreads from a local infection to your bloodstream, to organ systems, uh, fungal infections are bad actors. Mm. So how can you protect yourself? Well, I think when you hear this headline, remember it's, it's big picture awareness. The same way we don't like to overuse antibiotics because of bacterial resistance, same thing with fungal medications. We don't wanna use them inappropriately so that fungus then develops resistance to what we have. But then when you talk about in the community, Fungus likes to breed yeah. and grow in moist, dark places, so keep things dry. And when you're going to the gym, wear those flip-flops. Developing tonight, state health leaders say an elderly Kenai Peninsula man has died with Alaska pox. Many of us are still learning about this virus for the first time. It's also part of the same family of viruses that includes smallpox and monkeypox. Joe Kadata is just back from speaking with a state epidemiologist to update us now and help us understand this disease. Joe? Mike, the state public health leader says this is the first time they've found Alaska pox in someone who's died. In this case, they confirmed it was an elderly Kenai Peninsula man. The state says that man died last week is the first Alaska pox case ever confirmed outside of the Fairbanks area. That's why this is now more so of a statewide issue. The virus was first found in Fairbanks in 2015, and that's where the other five cases were also found and confirmed before last week's death. Now, health officials are investigating and educating clinics and hospitals across the state what to look for, including what can look like a spider bite. Alaska pox is a type of orthopox virus, um, and these are viruses that are usually just found within animal reservoirs, so wild animals, that can occasionally spill over to infecting humans. And the state telling me they will not be able to officially confirm that this is an Alaska pox caused death until an autopsy is completed, although Alaska pox was for sure found within the elderly man who died last week in the Kenai Peninsula. And we posted that full state bulletin with all the information you need to know about this right now. That's live right now at alaskasnewsource.com and on our mobile app. Mike? All right. A health alert tonight as a measles case has now been confirmed in Maricopa County. It comes at a time when measles is on the rise across the United States and overseas. ABC 15's data analyst Garrett Archer takes us inside the numbers and why even one case here is a concern. It's the first case of measles reported in Arizona since 2019. We've only had 68 cases in total since 2007, with three of those years being outbreaks defined as five or more cases of measles. That happened in 2008, 2015, and the largest 31 cases in 2016 at an immigration facility. Uh, the reason health officials notify the public of even one case, it's fully pre uh, vaccine preventable, and it's also one of the most contagious diseases we know of. Almost. 10 times more infectious than COVID-19. Our next story is about a blast from the past, a comeback that no one wants. And by the past, by the way, I mean way back in the past, the 14th century to be precise. Have you heard of the bubonic plague? Well, it wreaked havoc in Europe in the 14th century. So why am I talking about it tonight? Well, because it's back. Where? In the United States. Oregon has reported its first human case of bubonic plague in over eight years. 
This is a scary development and tonight we will tell you all that you need to know. But first things first, what exactly is bubonic plague? It is an infectious disease and how does it spread? It spreads mostly to human beings through infected fleas that travel on rodents. Symptoms include high fever and swollen lymph nodes or buboes. That's where the disease gets its name from. In fact, the Black Death is used to refer to a bubonic plague pandemic that hit Europe and killed millions of Europeans in the 14th century. It was, in fact, one of the most fatal pandemics ever. And now in the United States and across the world, the bubonic plague is making headlines all over again. In Oregon, a local resident got effect infected. How did that happen? It has been suggested that the individual that the disease, uh, uh, th it has been su suggested that the uh, disease most likely got transmis transmitted to the individual from a pet cat. The cat was showing symptoms. Basically, pet animals can contract the infection through infected fleas or by hunting rodents that might have been bitten by an infected flea. The disease can then jump to human beings. According to officials, the resident and the cat have got medical attention. All close contacts of the resident and the pet have been contacted and given medication to prevent illness. Officials have said there is no risk to the community thanks to the early diagnosis and treatment. You see, that's the key. Antibiotics can help treat the disease in case of early detection, but if untreated, the disease can be fatal. Oregon's last tryst with the bubonic plague was back in the year 2015. A teenage girl got the disease because of a flea bite. This happened while she was on a hunting expedition. The disease is exceedingly rare. Oregon itself has seen only nine human cases of the plague since the year 1995. And how common is the disease in the United States? The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention noting that an annual average of 5 to 15 cases in the Western United States. So as of now, there is no reason for alarm. Things are under control and we will be monitoring the developments very closely. So watch this space.